It's that Vicky with Kicks and Cocktails Digital TV, and I want to share with you guys my top 10 pairs of kicks for the year 2022. Number 10. Let's see what we have here. We have an Air Max 97. I love, love these kicks. Now, the story behind it, I had these a long time ago. You remember, you may not remember, you bought me something similar. It was more like a running shoe, like a, you know, a, like you're racing, gotcha. a running track. Okay. And I love that bronzy color, and I have never been able to find it again. But when these came out, I was like, okay, I, I think I'm going to have to indulge. So this is the that's basically the reason why these are my number 10, is because I had something similar. They were a gift from you to me. All right. And you know I have that sentimental thing that I always do. So that's my top 10 right there. All right. Number 10. Number 9. Number 9. Let's see what we have here. Oh. Now I really like these things. Oh, I, I love You should have got them. I should have got, got them. You should have got them. Listen. That Nike blazer, the acronym. Look at the detail on them. How could you not? Remember, we were actually in the Nike outlet store. Yeah. And this one guy was kind of dissing them. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, cuz. But I knew I was waiting. I was going to grab them. Yeah, he's, so he's hot. I like the accessories. As you guys know you can interchange. You can change the black ones to a very bright fluorescent. So. However you want to hook it up to match the laces, you could do whatever you want, whatever you feel, whatever you're feeling like. You're feeling like summertime. You're feeling like I want to be bright. You're feeling like wintertime. You can go to the black laces, lace them up with the black, and you want to know how you can take them off. They have a little makeshift, I call it like a makeshift screwdriver. They just come with tools. Come with tools. So it reminds me of like a dog tag. And what you do, see the screws here? You just unscrew them, screw them off, lift up the tab, pull it off. There you go. You have a whole new sneaker. And that's why I like these so much. That's why I had to cop them because it gives you a whole different shoe. Like you can rock it one way, rock it another way, and you're good to go. You got two pairs of shoes in one. Number nine. Number nine. Number eight. Number eight. The Jordan 1. I was sold on the, the packaging. Mm -hmm. You know, it's jewelry like gold chains, gold bamboo earrings, at least two pair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it back. And I actually didn't mean to get these. And I know you say that. Yeah. All the time. I, I really didn't get mean to get these guys. What happened was I had early access. When they dropped and, you know, the message came up, sneaker apps, and I was like, ah, you know, I'm really not going to grab those. I changed my mind. I'll let it pass. And then when they dropped, I said, okay, I think I'm going to get these. And I got them. Let's see the detail, the denim. Ah, look at that, the ragged, jagged edge. The hang tag with the red and the blue. And like I said, the bamboo earrings. Check it out. And then you can, can switch you it. Can actually wear the earrings? No, you can't actually wear the earrings. Gotcha. You know, but you know, it's sneaker jewelry. Mm hmm comes with an extra pair of laces. Mm -hmm. Again, you can have a whole new look. I chose to rock them with denim. But if you're following my show, if you're following my Instagram page, you will see that I did a nice little reel. LL Cool J. Music behind it. Round away girl. Take it back. Throw back. And this is why I copped these number eight. Is because number, eight. number seven. Number seven. Again, guys, I didn't mean. I didn't mean to get I didn't these. mean to get these, but you know what? It just kind of happened. Jackie Robinsons. And these are fly, though. And these are fly, and also because the you know the history behind them. And you guys all should know who Jackie Robinson is. Is I mean, you just really should. But look at the detail. I actually, when I bought them, I said, you know what? I'm going to sell them. And then one of my brothers was like. You shouldn't sell them. And I know you were kind of yeah, like feeling the way because, you know, he convinced me to sell them. Because when I opened up the box, you know how you open them up and you, when I smelled them, I was sold. They all smell the same. They don't. They don't. They, they, don't. Nim, 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 nim. they all smell the same. They come with a solid blue pair of laces. Again, I love to be able to change out my laces and have an extra look. The detail. Oh, look at that. It's like a suede type of material and it's like a, a felt. So it, it, it's quality. They they really Nike did their thing on the dunks, but I will say, if you guys know, if you're going to do a collab, I want a fancy box. 
So this box should have had pictures of Jackie Robinson and his career. I agree. On the box that that that's, that would have really taken it over the top plain, for me. Plain box like. But I mean it's okay. You know I know we got to cut corners sometime, but my number seven. Yeah. Number six. Number six. Number six. Okay, so what what happened with these? Okay. I didn't it's, mean to get it, these. It's Philly, Philly. Philly, where I am from. It's the Phillies. You guys know the Phillies did an awesome, amazing job. We had the had the rock. Philly team. So you from Philly. You know you're supposed to rock with Philly. I don't want to hear anything else. You from Philly, you rock with all Philly teams. Okay? That's the Phillies, that's the Eagles, that's the Flyers. I don't want to hear nothing about... And the Sixers. Yeah, and the Sixers. My bad. I left the Sixers out. Love them too. Don't tell me your team is the Cowboys and you was born and raised in Philly. Had that conversation the other day. Stop playing. Mm -hmm. these, now, did you buy these sneakers just because the Phillies was popping or did you buy these sneakers because you liked them? So this is what I did. I kind of lunched. And I don't know why I did that. And I waited for them to drop. And I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I'm doing too much. You know, sometimes I can admit that I do too much. So I was trying to be modest mm. and i said you know what i'm gonna let him pass i'll let him slide so i didn't get them at retail so i had to get them from goat which you know they always have what i need mm. but you know it's just not retail prices it's not retail pricing so i was so i mean the, the suede this dunk is is quality i mean this material on here this soft suede kind of new buck the burgundy the Cooperstown colors, come on, stop playing with me. Good color. It's a good, it's good color. And I'm so a gum sole, and then actually a gum. And then gum on oh, the sole. Come on. Because you know how they're always chewing their gum and mm -hmm. whatever, and they're spitting. I'm not a fan of that, but you know, do what you must. But Phillies rocked out, so I had to rock out and cop. Number six. Seven. Six. This is six. Number six. Number five. Number five. We have a throwback. Avias, you guys, oh my goodness. I had to take it back to the 80s. I was just sold. Now, they came in a range of colors. I needed the black. The black was it for me. But they came out here red, white, and blue, and then red, white, and black. And I said, you know what? Because I had a pair back in maybe junior high school, they weren't high tops. But I remember my dad taking me to Dick's Sporting Goods because, you know, I've been doing sneakers for a long time. Mm -hmm. Dad, I need a new pair of sneakers, please. So the ones I had back then, they were low top powder blue and, and white. But these, I said, the high tops. I love a high top. Look at the quality. Look at the leather. Oh, my goodness. The nostalgia. Ah. I, I'm, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. You know? Of course you don't. I don't. I'm wild. I think they're awesome. Yeah, they're Throwback. Nice basketball. I wanted to play basketball, but you know they really turn out like that. But it's okay. I like I like to watch basketball. Avia, number five. Number, number five. four. Number four. Another throwback. I had been waiting for years. Years. And I think you remember we were actually together. And this sneaker came out. This Bo Jackson SC trainer. Dropped and they, I'm telling you, in the neighborhood, they just sold out. And my feelings were hurt because yeah, they they did not have my size. So I had been waiting and waiting, patiently waiting. Finally got them. I've been patiently waiting, waiting for this moment for so long. long. Yes. So these right here, is a, they're another nostalgic moment. The colorway is so decent. And again, you guys follow me. You know, I did a show with my brother. This was his favorite sneaker of all time. He got like 70 pairs. Yeah, he got the about 70 pair. pairs. Same pair. But I understand. Okay. I understand. I mean, because, you know, you don't want to wear them out, but you wear them a couple of times. See, I, I got to wipe them off. It's a little bit over there. So I think I probably may need to get a second pair just because oh based gosh. off of that little smudge. You better get them, uh, the sneaker cleaner, the kits they have. Yes. I need a sneaker cleaner. You got it, yeah. Anybody let me know what's the best sneaker cleaner out there? Nice sneaker cleaner. Yeah. Put in the comments. Let me know what I need to do. But again, <sighs> SC trainers, number, Nike, Bo Jackson's. Number five. Number classic. Four, I think. Number. Are we number four? We're number, number four. four. I'm jacking up the, the flow. That's number four. That's number, number four. three. Number three. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I can tell. It takes, takes my breath away. I'm sure. The number three is a Jordan 3, which is my favorite, favorite Jordan of all times. You know, 
I'm going to say that Via sneaker was your favorite sneaker. I didn't say it was my favorite oh, okay. favorite sneaker. I, sure. I said it was a great sneaker. It was in, you know, part of my childhood growing up, so I need to get them. These right here, I know a lot of people didn't run to them. They weren't going crazy, but see, I'm I, I'm going to go with my own thing. I'm going to march to the beat of my own drum. And since I love a three, the colorway for me, winterized, Jordan 3, and the name is perfect, winterized. Like, you got the brown chocolate. So I'm thinking of hot chocolate. I'm thinking of Kahlua cream, a nice mm -hmm. hot tidy. But stay tuned. I will be hooking it up, some type of drink, to match these kicks. Again, it's just classic. It's a Jordan 3. It's my favorite. The, the material, the suede. Come on, guys. The detail. I know some people like to, you know, the originals. And that's okay. But I like a little bit of splash in my style. I want to... If it, I'm going to go the opposite. That's what I do. That's how I rock my fashion. Number three, a Jordan. Number three. two. Number two. Oh my goodness. Wait, what is it? What is it? It's another number three, Jordan. The Neapolitans. I was losing my mind. I know. When they came out, I'm like, I had my brother trying to reach out to his connect i'm like i gotta get him i gotta get him finally got him in hand again there's always you know i have a story for everything there's a story for these sneakers vanilla chocolate and strawberry ice cream neapolitan this was the standard in our house for dessert again i made a nice little little concoction a little nice little dessert alcohol beverage to coincide with these and i gotta take it back to my dad because okay this was his dessert do not buy anything other than Briar's ice cream. He had to have Briar's. And, you know, I got I to gotta get in the character. Hey, Gwenny, what kind of ice cream is this? I can't eat this. It got polysorbate 80 in it. Going to run my pressure up. <laughs> Carl, it was cheaper. Well, how much you need? I mean, if it's a couple of cents, I got it. But I can't eat that. I can't eat nothing but Briar's ice cream. <laughs> so it was funny, hysterical. Oh, it's going to be funny forever. But hey, this is my love for these number two Jordan 3 Neapolitans. Number two. two. Number one. Number one. And I don't know if a lot of people were hype about these, but I, when I seen them, I said, hey, I, I'm loving these. The Jordan 1 Low Powder Blue, the colorway. Whew. I was sold for these. So my thing right now is, of course, Jordan Jordan 3s are my favorite. But then a Jordan 1 high top. I love a high top. But then I started getting into the lows. But the color way right here. And even more so because I don't have the UNCs. Mm -hmm. And that's what kind of, like, you know, drew me in. And then I saw reviews of people are like, oh, the leather is not that quality. And sometimes you just can't pay attention to folks. You got to see for yourself. And I believe they are good quality. The colorway is fly. They also come with another pair of laces. Mm -hmm. However, my laces, my blue laces were missing. Mm -hmm. So you know what I did. I, I got on the chat and I said, hey, I believe I'm missing a pair of shoe laces. And they come with two. They said, hold on, let's check. You know, you're right. We're going to hook you up now. <laughs> I got a little 15% off. So you got a wheel and deal. Nike, you know, stop playing with me. I'm going to rock out with the Nikes. Mm -hmm. I, I'm taking care of y'all, as a lot of us consumers are. Mm -hmm. So you got to take care of us. got to take care of your customers. Shout out to Nike. I appreciate y'all for that. Mm -hmm. But like I said, this is my number one right now. And it could change. It could change next week, y'all. Sure I could put something else on and be like, okay, this whole top ten. Uh, it's a figment of my imagination, or it was a figment <laughs> of my imagination. They don't count anymore. And then a couple years could come by, and they could be the best thing since sliced bread. It's just, it's just how I do. You know how it is. You have a bunch of siblings, as I do, and you take turns with, this one is your favorite this week. Ah, and I let Next week, it's not my favorite person no more. <laughs> this week, this is my favorite person. It's just how, it's how it goes. But that's my top ten. For the year 2022, I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
comment below. Let me know if you copped any of these and what you feel about them. You know, if, whether you rock with them or not, just let me know. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's that Vicky with Kicks and Cocktails Digital TV. I will see you guys later. I am out.